Joe and I met through a dating app. And uh, I guess we met at a bar and we clicked from there. I met Jen through an online dating site. And yeah, and then we went to the bar and everything was cool after that. My first impression of Joe was uh, he was cute. But he uh, called me rude at first because I didn't stand up to say hi to him when he was, uh, I was waving him over to the table. My first impression of Jen was, was very quiet and, and but pleasing to the eye. I love that she had her own way of communicating and that was, that was enough for me. Joe and I are most alike because we are very caring in different ways, but I feel like that's what makes us uh, good together. You know, we're opposites, but we're similar at the same time. My favorite thing about Jen is how much love she can spread. Joe and I's differences, uh, he's very loud and sociable, and I am more timid and uh, have a low social battery, so it's uh, definitely something to keep in mind when going out, but he makes up for it, and then he can tell when I'm tired, and that's kind of like the thing I love about him, that he can tell like my emotions, and like he knows me so well that he knows when I'm going through things, and when I'm angry, when I'm tired, when I'm happy. Jen and I are alike not very much, and that's the best thing, because now we have the best of both worlds. If I had a message for Joe, I would say I love you, and he knows that already, so I know, that's really, I keep it simple. Hey everybody, uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Ryan, I'm one of the groomsmen. I've known Joe for uh, the better part of the last decade. He's been one of my best friends, uh, my first friend when I moved here to Fort Myers. He's been a great guy. I've been, I've been outside of Fort Myers for the last five years, but we still remain super close. Jen, I can't believe you've been able to contain this guy, honestly. Every, everyone that comes up here is going to say the same exact thing. <laughs> it's impressive. Everyone give Jen a round of applause, please. Please. <laughs> the Soska family should be thanking her every single day. <laughs> I'm waiting at the doorstep, finally home. I've been gone for too long. Standing here a while. Jennifer and Joseph, have you come here freely and without reservation to enter into this marriage without co coercion? Freely and wholeheartedly? Yes. I do. All right. I do. All right, we do? We do. <laughs> okay, yes. We all do. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, Tay. <laughs> and are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and to honor each other for as long as you both live? I do. I, I do. I do. <laughs> All right, and now you may kiss each other. talk about when Joe and some of you who know Joe know that he's been golfing God all his life so when he was around seven or eight years old his grandfather Tom made him a brand new driver and I said Joe now you go down to the park it's only a couple streets away you go down to the park and you hit that ball as much as you want but don't do it in the yard he said, okay dad I won't do it what does he do he goes out in the front yard, drops the ball down in the, in the grass, and whacks the thing. He hit the ball, ball probably around 200 yards. This is like he's seven, eight years old, one, right? One, two, three, four, ten, <laughs> He banged it and hits a car. 
<laughs> Brand new car. Put a dent in the back quarter panel of the car. The guy comes to our house. Now, we lived in a small little town, so the policeman was our neighbor <laughs> that came over. And the guy came and said, hey, your son hit a golf ball and smashed my brand new car, and now you're going to have to pay for it. So we said, Joe, what did we tell you? So you're going to have to pay for this. Joe was saving up for a car at the age of seven, and he had around $500 in the bank at the time. So, well, there went your 500 bucks, buddy. <laughs> you know, you just blew it. So, Mary Joe came up with an idea. Hey, let's take that $500 that we made Joe pay, and because we, we had to pay more, but we took his 500 bucks anyway, and put it in the bank and let him gain interest on it, you know? We figured, well, we'll give him the money when he gets older at a certain time. So now, I guess the time is now. So the $500 with interest. $1,557. Don't hit another car. Ha, <laughs> ha,